Last week, Claire sat down with a best-selling author whose book titles can only be described as destructive. Here's that conversation. The Harry Mafi is the New York Times and USA Today's best-selling author of the Shatter Me series. And she's here with us this morning with Daybreak. Good morning, Tahere. Good morning. Hi, and welcome to Daybreak. Thanks. It's great Shatter Me series, very interesting. It's a combination of dystopian and paranormal with romance. And, you know, it's quite big right now for young adults. And um, I've heard it's about similar to Hunger Games and Divergent. But how is... Um, what can the readers expect from the Shatter Me series? Well, it is basically the story of a 17-year-old girl named Juliet, and she has this lethal touch. And she's living in a dystopian society where the government wants to use her as a weapon in their war, and she has to make a choice. Is she going to let them use her as a weapon, or is she going to fight back for the first time in her life and be a warrior? And essentially, it's that journey of hers. It's a journey of self-discovery. It's a journey of of a girl trying to figure out what it means to be herself. Okay, and I know that there's a love triangle. <laughs> there you is. You could call it that of... in, in the novel a little bit. So what, what's, can you tell us more about that? It's interesting. I often talk about it's a girl with a lethal touch, and yet there's an awful lot of kissing in these books <laughs> for a girl who can't touch anyone. Um, so obviously there's some plot twists in there that make that another element of the stories. And it actually, it just seemed like a really important part of her journey as a young girl who's never experienced that sensation before. Touch is something that's so important to her because she's been so cut off from society. She's been locked up for this ability that she has because the world thinks she's a monster uh, who shouldn't be around other people. And so she's kind of starved for it. She's starved for that need, for that connection. And so love and touch and that sensation felt like a really important element of the story, almost an entirely own, its, its own character even. Mm -hmm. And I know there are different characters um, here. Who, uh, there's a guy named Adam. There Can you is. tell us about Adam? Adam is the main love interest in the story. Okay. And then there's Warner, who's the central antagonist in the story. And they sort of, it's like, well, what's interesting? and. Well, what's fun, I would say, about the characters is that it's often not really what you think. You know, who they are is not really what you think. Everything is not really what it seems. Okay, so there's much more, there are more layers to their characters. Right. And you said that, and it was once said that this Aaron Warner Adamson, am I right, this character, he is like the, kind of like the perfect guy in the novel, is he? I mean, what's he like? I think that's kind of the, um, in the first book, he is the most despicable character you have ever met. So not quite perfect. Um, but I think that's the, the fun I had with the story was creating characters who on the surface or initially appear to be sort of black and white. Adam is the good guy and Warner is the bad guy. And then and I wanted to challenge that idea that we have of, well, what, you know, is, is someone really just inherently good and is someone just really inherently evil and what make up our characters and our personalities. And right. So it sort of shifts and that's what makes it interesting, their characters, what you seem to think they are in the beginning. Um, it may, may not be, may not be what you think. Really who they are, really. Yeah. Okay, so that's great. And I know that... Um, how do you think can young adults or you know, teens can relate to the characters of the story and the plot? I think ultimately the Shatter Me series is a story about a girl trying to find herself in a society, trying to tell her who to be. And I think it's something that so many of us can relate to, and we're especially as young people trying to define ourselves and figure out who we are despite the expectations placed on us by society, by our parents, by friends, and by, um, you know, our own ideas of, of, of what a good life is or what a good person is. And it's, it's about breaking free of those, of other people's ideas and, and ideals and understanding what we want most out of life and, and sort of accepting it and accepting who we are. Okay. And I know that you, uh, you have a huge following, and some said that um, they love your style and the unique prose. And what do you think draws them to your work? I, it's extremely flattering and sort of um, always surprising to me to, to hear that anybody understands or can connect to this character because I wasn't sure anybody would. Um, 
she's definitely someone who's struggling with herself and her sense of self, her identity. And the prose is sort of fractured and all over the place and a little crazy because it was meant to be a reflection of her own shattered state of mind. When we first meet Juliet, she's sort of on the brink of insanity and she's been locked up for almost a year. She's losing her mind. And as she grows, the prose grows with her so, um, and evolves with her. And there's a lot of emotion in that. And I wonder if maybe it's just that extreme sense of isolation or ostracization that we feel as young people occasionally, often, um, is perhaps something that a lot of people might be able to understand. Right. I, I know what you mean. And now, what, in a, on a personal basis, what made you decide, or may, what made you want to write a novel or the Shatter Me series? I, I always say, I, I wish I had a more um, straightforward answer to this, but for me, stories always arrive in the form of an image or a voice. And for me, it was both. It was this character just um, appeared in my mind one day, and I had so many questions about her. Um, and, and who she was and where she was going, and I wanted to, to figure that out. So it was just me on a quest to figure out who this girl in my mind, it was just a very specific image of a girl, uh, figuring out who she was, and it led me into the world of Shatter Me, and um, it was a lot of fun. Did you know it was going to be a New York Times bestselling novel? Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, well, you know, congratulations. A lot Thank of people so love your book. And you have a huge following as well. And right now you're here in the Philippines. Thanks for coming. And um, right, for those of you who are interested, um, her books are already out at the National Bookstore. Um, Ignite Me is one of the, uh, the latest ones. It's the last in the book series. in the series. It's the last one of the series. Um, but they're all out. Um, it's called the Shatter Me series. So if you want to um, get more information, just go to the bookstore and <laughs> find, find out more. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us today. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. That was Tahiri Mafi. She is a New York Times and USA Today's best-selling author for the series Shatter Me.